You are here because you want to jump higher and there's no secret that as a goalkeeper you need to jump higher to be able to claim crosses at the highest point, also to be able to save those top corners. That's why in this video I will provide you with 5 goalkeeper drills which will enable you to jump higher. But first, what does it actually take to jump higher? To be able to jump higher for a cross or a high dive, you need good technique and power in your legs. You can develop the technique through technical drills and repetition, whereas you can develop jumper power through physical drills, plyometrics and weight based exercises. At the end of the video I will show you a few leg exercises which build leg strength and also enhance jumping power, but for now here's the first drill. The first drill is quite simple but heavy on your legs. You will do a split squat jump while switching your legs mid-air before receiving a volley from the feeder, doing this drill repetitively. The main focus of this drill is trying to jump as high as you can but also indirectly working on your balance and coordination. The second drill is where you start on your knees and must complete a high dive using only two steps. A feeder will tell you where they are throwing the ball and you must step with the leg opposite the side where the ball is going to before power stepping and springing towards the ball using the other leg. This drill focuses on having a really strong power step and spring working on your high dives indirectly. The third drill is a pure leg burn. You'd begin on your knees before jumping up and then performing a broad jump as far as possible before dropping back and saving a ball where the feeder may throw. The feeder may serve you a low ball, high ball, even a bouncing ball. This drill focuses on just raw jumping power as you are required to jump twice followed by a dive. This drill may also replicate the fatigueness when having to save shots after a long 90 minute match. The fourth drill is a leg burner as well. You would begin in split squat position, getting the ball you are holding into the air before making a claim. After claiming the ball you drop it, also dropping back, ready for the server to throw the ball in the upper ends of the goal, or working on your high dives. This drill is mainly working on producing power from your legs, also working a little bit of your claiming technique and your high dives. Before I show you the 5th drill, comment save if you reached this bit in the video and like and subscribe for a chance to win a free pair of goalkeeper gloves. The 5th drill works on generating power from a single leg. Where many movements produce power slash momentum via two legs, this drill isolates the help from the other leg to mainly focus on producing more power using one leg. You'd work your way through cones, jumping over each one and making a catch in between them, before getting to the second to last cone to aid in making a small momentum before really pushing off towards the ball. This drill is ideal for people who struggle pushing off from one specific leg, otherwise the previous drills would be more beneficial to help you jump higher. Now that you know the drills, here's some plyometrics exercises you can do to boost your jumping power even more. Squat jumps, pogos, knees to feet to jump, broad jump, skater jumps or a combination, and lastly a knee thrust jump, sorry I don't know the name. It is important that you stretch before attempting any of these as you don't want to get injured. 